Hey everyone, we got some exciting news today. What if I told you the Nintendo Switch 2 is coming sooner than you might think? Well, I guess it depends on when you think it's coming. If you don't think it's coming until 2027, then I mean, yeah, it's coming a lot sooner than you think. But if you think it's coming out like this summer, then okay, maybe this isn't really it. What I do know is we have an update on the Nintendo Switch 2 situation, and I can't wait to tell you after I remind you we are on our road to 100 thousand subscribers and oh i'm so excited about this one because if we get there by the time tears of the kingdom comes out we're going to be giving away a collector's edition of the game we're going to be giving away a zelda switch oled right already got that ordered oh and one of those zelda pins you could only get by being at pax east guys this is a pretty exciting giveaway a pretty big one i can't wait if i actually have some other things in the works as well for a nice hundred thousand subscriber live stream special but we'll worry about that if and when we get there. For now, let's dive into this news. If you remember, we've been talking about the Nintendo Switch 2 for obviously a little bit now. We were talking about the Pro for years, and it sort of shifted to the Switch 2 last year and early this year when we got some updates on some manufacturing and stuff coming from Nikkei and various other sources. And the last time we talked about the Nintendo Switch 2 was because a user on Twitter uh, that goes by Connor, his, his uh, username is AuraXDA, actually is a leaker of a bunch of mobile chipset stuff and tried to give us some information on how this might be a 5 nanometer chip. Now, we don't know for sure if that is 100% true. Uh, there's been some conflicting data with it. Maybe the 5 nanometer was canceled and they're actually doing an 8 nanometer. I don't really know. Uh, I'm not on the inside to understand these sources, but I know a lot of the information was coming uh, from manufacturing, but also coming out of the Game Developers Conference. And he dropped a bomb about 12 hours ago, uh, and this was really, really interesting, and this is why we're excited that, that Switch 2 is coming pretty soon. According to my source, next-gen Nintendo Switch dev kits have just been sent to developers. Now... Sometimes developers will have them for a year. Sometimes they'll only have them for six months. It really varies uh, depending on the developer. You know, some developers in Japan might have already had them, right? Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Capcom or Sega already had these dev kits. They also don't have to travel as far as, say, coming to Europe and the United States. But this is really exciting for a number of reasons because it means Nintendo is preparing to launch their new hardware at some point, likely in the next 12 months. Now... We've also had a leaker that proved to be 100% correct so far on, uh, what was that, the Pokemon Presents Scarlet and Violet DLC of all things that they proved 100% correct on. And at the end of that little thing, it came off of 4chan, they noted that, hey, they're working on a graphics enhancement patch for DLC 2 for Scarlet and Violet. Now, why would they need a graphics enhancement patch? They can't even get the game with the current graphics to run well on Switch. Well because there's probably new hardware coming. That was sort of the inference. And it does appear that, hey, with that DLC coming winter 2023, that's basically December to April of next year. The system could come out before then. It could come out in that window. Now we have Connor here saying that dev kits have now gone out, so developers are now going to have six, seven, eight months to get software ready. I honestly think we're looking at a holiday release. I'm just throwing that out there. It's a prediction. It's not a rumor or a you know nobody that i know is saying this and yeah i reached out to some contacts behind the scenes haven't really heard anything and that's okay i don't really expect to hear anything because i don't directly say hey when is switch 2 coming out is it called switch 2 can you tell me the specs like i that's not how i treat my sources i just kind of float it out there that I'm, I'm looking for information to verify current ongoing reports that being said, I'm really excited for Switch 2 and the possibilities, and I think Switch 2 is going to help in a number of ways. I know some people out there are a bit critical of the Tears of the Kingdom gameplay because they don't think it looks visually as good uh, or as big of a leap as they hoped it would be going from Wii U to Switch. But I will say that maybe it's because a lot of the visual enhancements, which, by the way, there are some. There there's, appears to be a potentially new lighting system. There also appears to be a much bigger draw distance. But for the more impressive stuff, I think it might be being saved for an update that's going to be coming out on Switch 2 this holiday. So that being said, I'm really excited uh, for what's happening with this hardware and the potential of getting third parties back in the fold. Will it be as powerful as a Steam Deck? Will it outdo the Steam Deck? I mean, Valve just put out there that the Steam Deck is actually going to be around for a while. So they're not planning to launch a Steam Deck 2 
anytime soon. And that's very critical to remember in cases like this because if the Steam Deck 2 isn't going to release anything new, that means whenever this comes out, if it's more powerful or as powerful, it's going to look really, really competitive in that market, let alone if it can handle playing PlayStation 5 ports, right? If we can start getting down ports of all the third-party games, that's impressive. And a big thing to remember here is the Call of Duty deal looks like it's going through. The CMA has approved it. Japan's approved it. The European Union's approved it. The FCC is even starting to lean to approve it. There was a report out there. The FCC was a little agitated with Microsoft not presenting documents that they've requested over 20 times. And that was an absolutely true story. But they're also really, really mad at Sony, who now the FCC has accused Sony of tampering with this deal and attempting to get it blocked on false grounds. So it sort of looks like everything is leaning towards Microsoft getting Activision Blizzard, which means this 10 year deal with Nintendo could be kicking in as soon as this year, if not next year. And having new hardware for Call of Duty would certainly be of benefit to all of the Nintendo gamers. So a lot of things are adding up. Of course, right now we don't know what the specs are gonna be. We speculated in the past, we did a whole video on it you guys could check out where we talked about the t239 chip that's the chip we presume is in there codenamed drake uh we think it's part of the mvn2 which through all of that we're able to get that it has eight processing cores and uh potentially x amount of gpu performance and x amount of watt wattage drawn look it's all guesses at this point because we're just we're just doing the best we can with very very limited information based on an nvidia leak last year and some stuff posted at uh, Linux forums because while they're not using Linux on Switch, they are using an operating system that was sort of built off of Linux. So take that for what you will, guys. There's just a lot of stuff floating out there. Obviously, we have tons of Tears of the Kingdom stuff to be talking about, what we get into as well, along with many other news. But I was just really excited to have this Switch 2 stuff just pop across my desk this morning. It makes me uh, it makes me smile because I am ready for new hardware. We've been with the Switch hardware a long time. I know I just bought a Zelda OLED Switch for me, and I'm keeping that, by the way. It's a collector's item, right? We're going to keep that bad boy. It's probably going to appear on set at some point if I retire it for the new system. But um, I'm really excited. I hope you're excited as well. Uh, if you enjoy this, I would appreciate it if you would drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, you know, got we got more videos coming for you today. So I'll catch you in the next one.